Hello, hello. Okay, I think we're live. Okay, yeah, we look live. Okay. The only thing I hate whenever you're trying to promote yourself is how Twitch and Twitter, they always just show you, like, the title from, like, a month ago or, like, three weeks ago or whatever. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Where was I? Oh yeah. Gundam. Oops. All right. Let's put that there. So that way, in case I go through an entire stream without realizing that the microphone's on, I can notice. Hooray. And the screen is there, so it'll let me know if the video's gone. Hooray! Remember, people, when streaming, no matter how many times you think you have everything correct and on and updated and plugged in, you probably don't. You probably don't. And you never will. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, well, I'm excited to go back to this game. All right, come on, Travel Cat. On the lap. No hitting the microphone. Okay, bud? All right. Okay, that one was me. That was on me. New Gundam Breaker. Continue. Okay, so some changes from the last time I aired this. I did some quote-unquote grinding because I'm a monster. And I upgraded my Gundam a bit. So, let's see. There we go. Oh, no, wait, turn that way. Oh, why is that inverted? Why is that inverted? Oh, well. All right, here we go. So pretty cool, right? I think I need to fix the face up a bit to get a little bit of blue back to white. Um, but overall, not bad, right? Not bad. I, I think it's pretty cool. All right, maybe we'll get some new parts and upgrade it a little bit further. Definitely do feel like I need to fix the face up a bit. Okay, now it's gonna bug me. All right, all right, let's go back. Go back and let's go to paint. All right, paint. All right, head. Let's zoom in. Okay. All right, grab this and okay. All right. What about this? That's fine. What about. Mm, that's fine. That's fine. This part though. I mean this part should be blue to make up for the Okay, yeah, actually that's that's a lot better. Uh yeah, save current. Okay. Alright. We've touched it up. What do I call this? Cerulean Hope Gundam? Neat. Alright, now to the task at hand. The wonderful, awesome story mode. So last we left our spunky protagonist, our nameless protagonist, who is always a boy, even if you give it a girl's name, uh, has joined the Side Zero Club at school in hopes of turning back the evil student council and their gunpla tyranny. Um, and at this point, it also opened up the... You know, I don't even know, but 
the scenario for let's let's go see let's go talk to your childhood friend. The classroom. I don't know if I should speak these parts because this game is voice acted, although it's in Japanese. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I should probably read it. Anyway, or at least summarize what's going on. So basically, your childhood friend is the, you know, she's the second year. And uh, she's forming like her own like resistance against the student council and like the boys in her class are just all like no nah, you can't fight the man man you gotta give in to the system it's very it's very Japanese oh and now they're like blaming you know like the school on the fact that they can't get their rankings up and now they're blaming the girls like oh you don't want anyone else bothered by you huh but now she's made her choice she's not gonna listen to all those <laughs> you're gonna play the witcher Dan that's a good game why aren't you playing the good game don't watch me play the bad game <laughs> Yo, I also have the Singapore version of Breaker 3. Yo, that is a much better game. Why aren't I playing that? I've beaten it. That's the, that's the only reason I'm playing this is that I haven't beaten it yet. But no, Breaker 3 is a superior game in every, every aspect. Right now I'm going through the Doki Doki High School Panic story mode of this. Um, I'm not sure which girl is crazy and is going to kill me, but I'm hoping all of them. Like even this like launching scene is like the is so weak compared to um like Breaker 3. Just like the noise and like just the, the angle and ah. Oh no Dan, I took so when I was playing Breaker 3, I got through like three fourths of the story. And then by the time you get to the final tournament arc, I was so bored because the fights are almost the same back to back. Even like the mobs I was fighting were just like the same like five Gundams just over and over. Like I was going crazy for a bit there. Oh, she's got a variant of the Shining Gundam. I can tell because of the shoulder pads and also because I'm crazy. Uh, yeah, no, the building is so much better in Breaker 3. So something in this one that's different. Um, what was it? Like, you don't get multiples of a part that have different stats that let you, like, upgrade and merge. You just get a part, and then that's it. And then if you get any extras of that part, then they're just sold. So your customization options are like, okay, do I have part A or do I have part A? I have part A. Also, this is also really stupid, right? All your skills are locked by your fighting level. And how do you get your fighting level up? You have to break these containers and get that little red, like, um, Gundam experience chip or whatever energy. And then when your level goes up, oh, then all those skills that you, you know, put into your suit, then you finally get to use. Also, the bars only fill up by fighting. They don't fill up by any kind of time constraint at all. Let's see. Also, the lock on this game is garbage. Like, sometimes it's hard to like focus on any one thing. I had to turn off the targeting so that it wouldn't focus on the uh, containers by accident. Oh yeah, no, in, in this one it's all toys. Like there's like, there's four or five different like environments that are you are playing like in an office or a classroom or a like a um, like shopping area. Like like it's bad. Well, you know, actually I don't really mind this like a uh, like background. Cuz like this is actually it's 
kind of cool, like being able to like, oh look, I'm gonna climb up onto this couch. Whoa! Yo! Is it really called the Epsaurus? I know it's from the 8th MS team, but I'm pretty sure this thing was called something else. Okay, so, and, alright, another thing that's really weird about this one, because I finally get to complain about this to someone that'll actually get it. <laughs> um, oops. Oh, did I not, did I kill it? So while you're fighting, your parts can get knocked off, and then if you don't go and pick up that same part immediately, uh, you can accidentally pick up another part and it will replace the part you lost. So if I lose my legs, not only do I lose just like everything that my legs... Oh, I died. Oh well. Uh, not do I lose everything. How's the music? Terrible. Like it's most, uh, it's mostly just like generic like... Not, not even orchestral, kind of like the orchestral parts of like whenever they do a fight sometimes. Like you, you've seen the episode of Gun and Wing. Sometimes that one song just plays while beams, beams everywhere. Uh oh, combo locked, combo locked. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's usually that. So like no theme songs I haven't heard. Uh, Anime Janai, I haven't heard. Stand up for the victory. Um, yeah, nothing. Not even anything from like the uh, build, build divers or the build uh, fighters series, which is really like a lot of what all this like uh, Gunplus stuff is like based off of. Oh, that was the boss. I didn't even realize. So those little stars are the quests that little pop up like in the mission. Hooray, Master Balance. Uh, whatever. So, so yeah, it incentivizes you to do those quests while you're doing the mission. Also, whenever you pick stuff up, you just can't pick up all the pieces that are around you. You can only pick up up to five parts at a time, and then you have to take them to your part chest and then drop them off in your part chest. And then if you get killed or hit while you're dropping your parts off into your part chest, there's a chance you may drop them. Oh no! Also, if your AI teammate is dropping stuff off into your part chest, then after they deposit their stuff, it will disappear. So you may not get a chance to drop off your stuff. So yeah, if you want to focus on getting parts, you have to navigate yourself through that cluster disaster of a battlefield and just grab what you want and then go to a chest to drop it off. It makes no sense. Like, no sense at all. Like the idea is that you hold on to those five parts and if you wanted you could switch them out for a part that you currently have equipped. Like oh my head is stupid let me put on you know a camphor head. Or these wings are stupid let me put on a uh, Shenlong scorpion tail or something like that I don't know. Yeah. And no it, that's not fun. This game was not only like ported to Unreal 4 I think it is. Like the, uh, the first three breaker games were on their own engine. And for this one, I decided to, like, convert it over to, to uh, Unreal 4. I don't know why, but they did. Maybe just to make, like, I guess, design easier or porting easier or something. But the fact that this is, like... So I'm really bummed out because Gundam vs. 2 was also just, like, lacking in comparison to the Versus games that were on PS3. And both this and Versus, that like, the first two Gundam games to finally come to the West after a while. I don't count the Vita one, but it's fine. Um... These are just like lackluster. They're just lacking super hard compared to their previous ones. Anyway, this is the Ori. She's a, a Gundam freak. She gets excited, quote unquote, whenever she does like a Gunpla fight. Mm, yeah. Take that as you will. I think she's enjoying it.
it's still fun like um the quote-unquote arcade mode it's got it's no like um, i think when you when you all did the uh did the gundam versus game on the three mb bros did jordan show like the uh it wasn't it wasn't a story mode but it was kind of like a mission mode where it had like a web of missions you could like go between and stuff it doesn't have that exactly but it does have like an arcade that's got like different kind of fights depending on like which difficulty you pick so it's got some fights there and a little bit of online i did get to play before games became so sparse and empty despite lots of like dlc characters still coming out um it was fun it was fun while it lasted i just wish i had a lot lot more life and just a lot more single player stuff to do yeah no if, if these games had the stuff from like the previous games like it, it would just be the best it would be the best oh there you go that's her totally not what, what's the term a hago face where she gets super excited when she plays gunpla <sighs> hooray i get to get all these boxes so i can level up my person so i don't die instantly this is the dumbest part. I say everything about this game is the dumbest part. Opening crates to level yourself up is probably the dumbest part. Also, the like by itself without a lock on, the camera is so just like behind your character. It's hard to see like what's going around him. I wish the camera was just a little bit higher if it's going to have this kind of like gameplay style. Anyway, so here, I have my five parts, so I no longer can pick up any more parts. So let me go over to my part box. Let's see, where is it? There it is. I found it. The Gundam NT1. Is that the Gundam narrative? Is that around here? Is that already in this game? Uh, no, I don't think that's the kind of narrative. An NT1. What is the NT1 model? I'll need to look up that. Yeah, no, crates aren't fun. Although it was a lot worse when the lock-on would automatically target crates. Like, I, I don't even know. Oh wait, is the NT1 from Blue Destiny? Maybe that's what it is. They have a lot of, uh, some of the more, like, obscure suits in this one. Ah, oh, the Titans. Yo, Zephyrinthus! Okay. Oh, but it's not full Vernian. Never mind. Oh, I love uh, Stardust Memory. Like my favorite Gundam OAV. Now, where is he? Where is he? I want to break him and I want to get his parts. Yeah, no, seriously, where is it, though? No, I don't care about you. I care about you. I'm looking for my Gundam. No, why is the mission complete? There he is! I want to break you! Ah! Oh, the NT1's the Alex. Oh. Okay. Damn. Alright. I like the Alex. It was, it was neat. I also like that it had like a girl pilot. Although she wasn't given any kind of time or personality whatsoever. Uh-oh. She's super excited. I don't even know what her suit is like modeled after, like those parts. She is just kind of crazy. Okay, so you've watched OG and Zeta. I'm currently like running through pretty much all of the classic stuff too. I finished Zeta, like a rewatch of Zeta about a week ago. And now I'm on the double Zeta. I'm about two discs into the part one and I just got part two via the mail, so. Um, so I'm excited to like rewatch that. I haven't seen Double Zeta in a while, but rewatching Zeta actually gave me a much better appreciation for the series. Because a lot of the stuff I thought I found annoying about it, well, it wasn't that bad on a second glance. So yeah, this is like the parts here. 
These are the parts you get to keep, and then the grayed out ones are, oh, you've already got those, so they'll just be sold. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, what I need to do is actually finish rewatching the Unicorn series before uh, Narrative comes out on the 30th? It's like, what, next Friday? Yeah. So. Oh, everyone's teasing her because she gets a little too turned on in the battle. Oh, high school antics. Oh, it's almost like they wanted it to be like a little like Gundam. Uh, high school anime? Oh yeah, no, that's what they need. Like that Fantasy Star portable anime they tried to push. Now that was some hot garbage. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just remember that was a thing. Oh my gosh. So this is one part that's kind of cool. It's actually the Gunpla list because it does list them and the series they're from. So that part's kind of cool. So you got your classics, um, good old OG gun cannon pushing the guy off the cliff. It's great. Got your classic Zaku 2. Good old Shars Gelgoog, which he doesn't use effectively at all for the end of Gundam. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, man. You have yourself a good rest of the day. I will enjoy my Doki Doki Gundam Club. As I build my perfect Zeong with its feet. Doesn't look terrible at all. Why does it have a sword? Ugh, it's so stupid. Yay, mobile worker. What is the Zuda? Oh, Igloo? Okay. It's been a while since I've seen uh, Igloo. Okay. All right, well, I didn't see any parts I wanted to upgrade my guy with, so let's go back to the story mode. All right. Mm. I guess we'll go see what the brainy girl wants to talk about. By the way, she's not she's not a fighter. She's a builder. So she just likes to build. Oh, she's not good with words. She wants to go to the club room. Uh-oh, it's a secret. She's bad at the battling. <sighs> this brainy girl is totally not Moe. Her Gundam is the Marika Maru. Oh, I hope it's just a bear guy. I hope it's just a bear guy with like gun tank equipment. Or a gun tank with a bear guy head. Any of those would be nice. All of those would be nice. Oh, the loading is bad. They should have a cool like little like loading screen. Like something with Haros. Hooray, let's break ten containers. <laughs> Isn't this fun? 
gonna break my container yeah 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 and box and box we must stop the zombie family from getting their shipment of potatoes Suit, like an upgrade. Huh. Yeah, your suit doesn't look that bad. Look at all these like water-based suits: the Hygog, the Zygok, the Ak guy. Yes, enemies, please walk into the way of my attacks. Let's see what else can I grab here. There we go. All right, boxes killed. Did I destroy the Gundams? Yay! I did it. Defeat PG Gundam. Oh wait, perfect grade? Where is it? I'm sure it's like, there it is! There's the perfect grade. Alright, go into your super mode. Perfect. No, I don't want to look at that thing anymore. I want to look at this thing. Oh no, that's my teammate. Okay. Well, I'm blind. Hooray, I did it. I blew up the thing. I did it! Oh cool, we got all the parts too. Pursuit... Is, oh, looks like a double O piece, so that's not bad. Did I get anything cool? No, not really? Okay, whatever. Who's the girl? Hi Mio! Welcome to Doki Doki High School Panic Gundam Style. This is the Builder Girl. She is very bad at moving the gunpla, but she's really good at building. And so she likes the building, but she doesn't like the battling because she's not good at it. So you help her out and now it's okay. Now she's in love with you. Because high school. Can't you tell how much fun I'm having? Uh oh, now it's the rest of your Gundam harem. The other students in your group to overthrow the student council. Hooray! Okay, well... Now let's get back to the romance antics. Also, uh, as I call them, romantics. Uh-oh. The rest of the students don't like our club. That's going against the evil student council. That is making Gunpla not fun in the school based on Gunpla. Where are the cute boys? 
Yeah, I don't know where they are either. I assume every cute boy in this game is evil. So, just a heads up. Also, guess what? Your character is always a boy. I tried giving it a girl name. Tried calling it Rami. Nope. They give you male, like, pronouns. They don't even make it, like, super androgynous. It's terrible. Oh, they're teasing her. So Yui is your character's childhood friend who's a year older, so she's like a second year. And she doesn't like the fact that the student council is making Gunplay not fun. And now all the students got all like, you know, angry because she's like trying to fight the power. Ha, they're talking about Funsaki. That's the Gundam horse. I don't, I don't know if you'll, if you'll see Funsaki for a while, Mio. You should watch G Gundam. It's great. Oh, she wanted to be someone you looked up to. Oh, now she's super excited. She's totally not sad and super depressed by the constant state of bullying in Japanese schools. Do you want to go work off some frustration with me? Well, there's either yes or yes, so, um, hmm, okay. I mean, if you're offering. And what do young high school boys and girls do to let loose their frustrations and pent up energy? They play with their robot models. Of course. What did y'all think? Or shut off the game <laughs> that that would be the better answer but in the history of me have you ever known me to stop doing something because it's poopy the answer may not surprise you I mean if I were to shut off this game if I was to stop this fight here then who would kill all of these boxes that are in my way These containers, they have to go. They are hampering the progress of humanity. People are weighed down by gravity because of these boxes. How many times will a hero have to watch that little girl die? The boxes have that answer. Girls aren't even cute? No, they really aren't. They're super plain. Like, compared to a lot of the girls, like, in the Gundam series, like Allenby or Rue, um... There are other ones. <laughs> like, Relina's kind of plain looking, but she's okay. Uh oh, I got all of my parts. Let me run to the parts box so I can deposit the Gundam parts I'm stealing. I did it! I dropped off my parts into the parts box. Yay, tornado that nobody got hit by. That was great. I'm so happy. So happy. I dropped my shield or arms. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, Victory Gundam. Yes, let's break Victory Gundam. Nothing will make me happier. No, get back here, Victor Gundam. I have to break you. I'll take all of your parts. 
Ooh. Australia's cool. Uh oh, I have to drop a part. No, I don't want that part. I want this part. There we go. Okay, now I have to turn these in. Oh no, the part box moved. Whatever will I do? You forgot Shia. I did forget Shia. You know, I was even thinking about Shia earlier today. And I've already forgotten Shia. I'm a terrible human being. I could not protect her. What a precious cinnamon bun. Hi, Lumi. How you doing? I <laughs> guess... Oh, you're, you're such a sweetheart. Lumi, you are also a sweetheart. Y'all are both way too sweet. Y'all are going to melt. I just got shot. I just got shot a lot. I am continuously getting shot. Okay, cool. I got the F91 piece. So I just recently watched like F91 again, like last night. And man, is that just like a good like standalone Gundam movie? Even though it takes place like after a whole bunch of the like series stuff. All right. So the main quest is to destroy the gen the dendrobium. So first, I have to jump over this dual monitor setup. Nope. Can't jump. Can't jump. Jumping is so hard. No. I have to destroy a GPO-3. Get back here. Oh, no. Noble Gundam. Gundam Sailor Moon. She's too cute. Oh, I need that part. Give it. Give that back. Give that back. No, I don't want to fight the Noble Gundams. I want to fight GPO-3. That's not cool. It's not cool, bro. Darn it. Stop changing up everything, game. I just want to fight the big guy. Okay. Alright, we'll grab this part, and then we'll go blow up the big guy. Come back. Come back. No, I'm out of ammo. My gun has to recharge. Oh, that's garbage. Oh, I have to turn in the part. Oh, oh poop. Oh, poop. No, I dropped everything. There we go. I turned in all the parts. Also, I'm about to die. Hooray. Okay. Now, where did that robot go? There you are. Nope. Bad lock on. Bad lock on. Bad lock on. I want to fight the big thing. Yeah, gotcha. So the problem with fighting this thing is that this game has very bad air thruster. Like you use up like 50% more thruster while ever you're jumping. Not just flying in the air, just jumping. Also, my gun takes a long time to recharge. It makes me sad. Did the frame rate drop just from moving? Yes, you may have noticed that this game was made on Unreal 4 by people who have no idea how to make uh, Unreal 4 work for them. Hooray! We did the good thing. New ability received. Okay. So what I got? I got stuff from the Serpent Custom. Uh, that's from uh, Gundam Wing Movie. Um, let's see. Same with this gun. I got a Wing Gundam Head. The let's see back cannons from Gundam F91. Awesome. Noble Gundam Sailor Moon Top. Neat. Let's see the Astray Red Arms. Victory Gundam Legs. And Head. Cool. Alright, I got some neat little parts there. Tell that purple haired girl. Yes. <laughs> no, no, this isn't the purple haired girl. This is your brown haired friend, the childhood friend girl. Yeah, her. This is Yui. 
look at that. She was interested in the younger boy playing with toys in front of her instead of, like, you know, taking her out on a real date. Or ha having her build it. Why would you build your gunpla under your blankets? It's so easy to lose the joint parts. I lose parts even when I, they're on like a flat, solid surface. This girl is useless besides Gundam, like Gunpla. So in worlds based off of nothing but card games or a child's toy, is every other job just by someone that just failed at the main like thing in life? Did every police officer like dream of being the Beyblade champion? Did every teacher once dream of having like a dual monsters deck that could defeat Yugi? These are the questions. The hair is brown, it's purple. I don't think it's purple. But okay, it's not brown. Although you are the artist. Hmm. What is that color? You see, when you say purple, I think of this girl. Marika. You know, the not the not cute builder. Like, I guess she's going for, like, the, uh, like, nerdy, like, quiet type, but, I mean, you can do better. Have they not seen Haruhi? Yuki is adorable. Mauve purple. Lumi, you don't know what mauve is. Don't lie. Oh my god, there's a third scenario? Ugh. When do we get to the part where we take on the student council? Why are we going on these dates? Marika is indigo. Oh, there's a teacher. So this is a teacher that just allows the student council to walk over all the uh, students. What a great role model for a future society. Oh, now she's just putting off all of her work. So that's Indigo. Hmm. Maybe this is why I failed art class. Oh wait, no, I failed photography. I'm bad at stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Mia's a mob, but not Lumi. Hmm. Hmm. Should Lumi get mod permissions? I guess I have to add her as a friend first. Jesus. There we go. There we go. At this point, pretty much everyone that watches me is going to be a mod. I will teach you battle tricks. A wise master. There's one mission I can't clear. It's not weird. Lumi made her own because she was like, oh, I'm going to stream Dark Souls on my own channel and it's going to be so much more popular than Xerix Knights and then he's going to be like, oh, Lumi, you're so cool. That was her plan. I saw through it all, though. And that said, I actually was enjoying watching the Dark Souls, so it was cool. Sonix also has like rights to this uh, Twitch as well, along with his own, so it's fine. Everyone's allowed to have their own.
All right, time to get these boxes. Break the containers. These boxes are the ones that gas the colony. They all have to go. I don't know why they're all so far away from each other though. Alright, now let's break all these Aku weaklings. Oh my god, that tornado move is so useless. It doesn't hit anything! <laughs> All right, GM Customs, you guys gotta go. Y'all are really boring without any color. Your toys will never sail. Destroy the target. Where's the target? Ah. I guess somewhere along the line we did it. Ah, the dual Gundam from uh, Gundam Seed. Ooh, Force Impulse from Seed Destiny. Despite it being called Tornado, it really doesn't seem to hit any like anything around you. Yeah, so destroy the dual Gundam. There's the Force Impulse. Cool. Force Impulse is a cool, is a cool one. All right, where's the? Oh crap! Where is it? There it is. That's the battleship from Gundam 00. Ooh. Strike. Perfect. Alright, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. My Gundam is very nice. Thank you. I worked on it a lot. I thought if the game was going to be poopy, then I at least have to look stylish. That's one thing I have to say about this game is that at least the customization still is like fun enough, but at the same time, it doesn't have as much freedom to like make cool stuff as the uh, other one did. There we go. I blew it up. Oh no, I didn't get an S rank. A shame. So what I got? I got a shield from the GM command. Rifle from the duel. A twin beam saber from Stardust Memory. The chest from the strike Gundam. Oh, I already had legs for the for the impulse. Oh well, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Yeah, there's only been like one stage I was actually like in like a Gundam S kind of field area. Oh, she's super excited by the toy. The part we got.
because we played the video game and we beat it, we were allowed to 3D print a part and not just, you know, download the part off the internet or something. What dance thing? I don't I don't care. Yes, my gunpla is cool. Uh oh, she's got a dark secret. Is there more stages? Maybe. Maybe there are. Ugh, more dating sim stuff. I want to fight the student council. I want to write injustice. Uh oh, it's jerk face. Jerk face being a jerk. That's right, this guy steals parts. Uh oh, he's betting every stolen part on this match. What? Uh, we have to disband our resistance if we lose, though. Yay, announcer girl! Why can't we, like, date her? There you go, Rinko Shakuna. Yeah, no, she should be, she should be, like, in the game more. Does Beyblade also have the evil student council that's stopping the kids from playing with their Beyblades? Don't worry, I've already beaten this guy three times, so fourth time is the charm. Oh wait, no, I know what episode you're talking about, a Beyblade? Yeah, I watched that episode. That's when he learned to make the, the really long uh, string so that it would spin better. Or, or is that when he learned the jump? When he learned the jump spin? Ringo is the name of Say's mom. Oh, look, he's got a little Zaku. A little red Zaku. That's cute. My thing is giant compared to everyone else's. Why am I just now realizing this? I think it's because I'm using the 1 100th size parts. Oh, there he is. There, there's Douchebag McFace. I'm just going to focus on beating him up while my teammates do the missions. That seems like a better use of my time. I know I can't see anything because the camera is like pooping itself. But I promise I just won. And don't worry if you can't tell what's going on, neither can the people who made this game. Ah, oh, Bandy's back. Hooray! What a jerk. Alright, let's go kick this butt again. Up oh, and we blew him up again. Hooray! We're so good at this. Oh, let me drop off all my parts in the part box. Bucks. Am I overpowered? Yes and no. Like I did farm for parts, but honestly, like I can still die super easy. Cause th this game's really different than like uh, the last one. 
So, like, you can't really, like, grind up individual parts. You just get the parts. Also, all the skills that you have via the parts you've, like, attached to yourself. You see how they, they all say locked? Well, I have to go and I have to break all these boxes so I can get these little, like, red energy pieces. And that's what levels up my person so I can use my skills. Hooray. Isn't that so much fun, breaking these boxes? Isn't it? Isn't it so much fun? <laughs> oh, they blew up Gundam for Sago. Which, by the way, is from Gundam X. Just to let y'all know. I think you would like Gundam X, Mia. It has a very cute girl who is also someone that should be protected. Ooh, GPO2! Neat. Uh oh, I missed. Time to use my RG mode. Oh, look at the camera poop itself. I don't even know who I beat up, but I beat them up good. I'll take this part. I don't know what it's for, but... Oh, I have to recover three parts. Well, let me go to the part box. Ah, uh, not the Ptolemyus again. Okay. Why not Trans Am? I wish I had Trans Am. I don't I haven't found any, uh, a lot of, uh, double O parts. Like this backpack is from the uh, build strike, but the uh, leg and arm are from the uh, what is it called? The it's from Gundam Age. It's a really cool looking one. Uh, the head is the bale, I believe, from Iron Blooded Orphans. Um, I forget what the chest is. I'll have to take a look at that. Where, where was I? Ah, uh, whoops. Destroy the GPO-1. Where? Where is GPO-1? Give me your parts. Oh, look at that frame rate. Hurt. It hurts so much. Alright, that's because the Ptolemyus has blown up its beams everywhere. Alright, let's go destroy it. The neutral enemies. Oh yeah, no. Every enemy on the field that's not like a player is a neutral force and they'll they'll attack everyone That's actually kind of the problem Because there's just too much going on on all sides But a good way you can tell is they're the ones with the green life bars Okay, where's How do I get up there? Okay, this stupid jerk face There we go. Jerk face destroyed. Let's go blow up that uh, ship. Once I figure out a way to get up there. Can I go up there this way? I can. Is the blue-haired girl crazy? She gets so excited that um, in the pants, I think, whenever Gunpla fights start, that yeah, she's a bit crazy. Okay, then 
I think I go this way? Nope, that's not the way up. Okay. I don't want to fight you guys. Is it this way? Yeah, okay, and then up here. Oh no! Here we go, there's the ship. Find the golden container? I get to break the golden box? Oh, uh, I'm so happy! Let me attack this thing. I just took all those rockets to the face. I did it! I blew it up! Now I just have to beat the jerk face. And then I can go end this stupid mission, which is dragged on for way too long. Okay, you. You jerk. I blew up. But we won, so it's okay. I just dropped all those parts I got from the battleship, but whatever. I don't care. I don't want them anyway. I'm gonna break this box! <sighs> Hooray, I got more ability. I didn't get to keep anything. I've already have all these parts. Sell them all. Oh, he lost. Morita Senpai. Anatawa. Uh oh, because he stole the parts. He didn't have the heart of the part. You need to return every part you stole by every random person you came across to them specifically. That's the only way you can atone. We just want you to stop being a jerk. I'll never steal from anyone ever again. We're right because we won. You have to obey the victors. That is the law of the school. Only the strong are allowed to make rules. No, you're wrong. That's exactly what this team is for. The only way to fight violence is with more stronger violence. If Gundam has taught me anything, is that only if your suit is the best and the strongest and the like most different looking, it's the only way you're allowed to win in this world. Oh my god, is this how the rest of the game is going to be? Just every girl's story scenario? I don't want to clear hers though. Oh, I didn't do hers either. Ugh. Yeah, the battle was stupid long and the dialogue is very, very repeated. Okay. Ugh. 
All right. Let's do them in order then. Childhood friend first. You know, Gunner Breaker 3, you were just fighting in tournaments so that you could save a little local Gunpla shop from being absorbed by a giant Megalo Corporation. That's all. It was fine. You teamed up with a little girl at a little SD Gundam. And she was, you know, the daughter of the owner of the store. And it was fine. Are we missing a girl in the middle? I don't know, Lumi. I don't know why everything is like this. None of the other Gundam Breaker games are like this. It's like Bandai Namco says, hey, we're finally going to release a Gundam Breaker game in America. What should we do? Oh, let's completely change everything people liked about the first three. And throw in a convoluted high school plot. With girls that you can date. Is this what happened in the Metabots game? I can't remember. No, not this guy again! Oh wait, I think I was supposed to do this match before the other one. Now the time, now the time's all confused, so now even though this guy learned his lesson, now he's a jerk again. Oh wait! Now he's being... Now he says he'll give back all the parts he stole. And then if he wins, then he gets to have his way with that one girl? That's really sick. Japan, you've got a problem. Oh, and he stole parts from all of her classmates? Wow, yeah, this guy's... This guy's a monster. How's this guy allowed to be a student? This guy's like a sexual predator. I mean, why would you want a guy, girl to dress up like Super Fumina? Like, Super Fumina doesn't look that great. Ha! It says third outbreak, but it's actually like number five or four, I don't know. Oh, this one's probably going to drag on a bit, too. Oh, this sucks. Truffles got so bored by the story, he fell asleep on my bed. He's upside down and passed out, and he's just not, not having it. Truffles is like, oh, really? Stories about high school? <sighs> that's him. That's him right now. Truffles has no chill on this story. Or too much chill. I forget how chill is amplified. I could be watching Good Gundam at this time. I'm watching Double Zeta. I'm having a good time. Oh, it's him again. God, what a chode. It's the same mission, too. Okay, so then... Is, like, a story mode just one girl straight down? Is that what it is? Pick your favorite girl and just use her story? I find that so weird. And if that's the case, I really don't want to do anyone's story because I don't like any of the girls that much. Uh oh, I didn't break any boxes. My person's only level one. No, whatever will I do? No, I dropped my gun. You jerk. All right, let's go find it. Where's my gun? Got it back. Cool. Hey, 
Hey, cool, we get to defeat the, uh, the guy in, again. Let's also just take all these parts, because I don't know. Oh, uh, we get to break ten containers. Yeah! Let's go break these boxes! Box! Where are more boxes? Box! The bootstrap theory, it'll be more entertaining than this. Um, so, basically like the premise of the bootstrap theory is whenever like you do something that kind of like only exists by the fact that you went to change it in the first place. Um, so like in time travel, the only thing that makes time travel work is the fact that um, in the new time thing where you time traveled, something caused you to have to go time travel to the past in the first place. And I know that sounds really stupid, I did a bad job of explaining it, but it's actually really about how stupid it really is. A prime example is uh, the movie uh, 12 Monkeys. Where Bruce Willis gets sent back to the past by, like, the society to basically kind of, like, stop the terrorist that, uh, unleashes the virus that, like, wipes out most of humanity. And he's encouraged because he believes that he saw the person when he was a kid. And then when it goes to that point in the future and he's kind of gunned down as the virus releases, he finds out that, uh... He kind of unknowingly helped the person actually release it, and the person that he saw die when he was a kid was himself. So, yeah. It, it's fairly nonsense. Oh, there's Gundam for Saga. I know it's like a crazy looking Epion. No, get back here. I need to break you and get your part. No, part. Give me that part. Stupid lock on. Thank you. Run away! Did it! Oh, this mission still has five more minutes left. Why? Is that the big Zom? It is! No poop! God, that thing has just have way too much guns on it. Luckily, it's not immune to beams like it is in the show. Hurry! Quick! Someone with a jet! Throw yourself into the bottom! It's for a good cause, I promise. Okay, cool. Now we just have to beat up Chucklefuck here. Uh, he's running away. Whatever. I don't care. Where's the big zom drop? Ahead. 
I did it! Yeah, Parappa the rapper explaining playing in the background. It's a lot better than this soundtrack. Man, the previous Gundam Breaker like had like songs like from the anime. They were a lot more fun. Did I get anything cool? Not really. It's a whole bunch of parts I've already gotten, so in the money you go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I know I don't have to play through every girl's story part because every girl's story is pretty much the same. Except sometimes it gets a little creepier. Is a gunpla built together from stolen parts really your gunpla? I used to have so much fun battling you before you started being a total creepo pervert. みっともねえとこ見せ Oh, he's jealous. Where's Romba Rao? Okay, yeah, it definitely seems like you just pick a girl and you go through their story. All right, let's stick with childhood friend because she's the least annoying. I guess. People are starting to realize to fight the power, to fight the man. This is so nonsense. Uh oh, she still has her dark secret. Does anyone want to know what her dark secret is? I really don't care. I bet her secret is that she's actually like uh, one of those like pop idol cam girls. Not like the dirty kind, but just the ones that are like super like crazy, like excited, and they get like a little following. Maybe she sings Parappa the Rapper songs. I don't know. Wow, Blue Girl is a super stalker. She's secretly a furry? Yeah, hey, that could be too. Leader of the Elite Shining Team, Golden Cosmos. え、ゆいYeah, why doesn't say have a daughter? Oh, you know why.
Both him and that girl are way too pure. They can never have a kid. Marika. They get all shy and bashful and then just hide in the blankets for five hours. Yeah, he doesn't look like a high school kid. He looks like an adult that's pretending to be a high school kid. We trust the love of Gunpla in her heart. Uh, this is the guy that's bought all the gunpla he can afford. It's money versus something. I don't know. He failed high school five times? He failed middle school five times. Does look like I'm losing some frames here and there. I'm going to blame it on the game and not my setup. Because I don't want to. Oh yeah, but anyway, it just turns out she was just like, you know, betraying you and helping the other teams build Gunpla. So, nothing at all interesting. Boring. Travels is also bored. He's like, I am not impressed. A stage that is in the classroom. Holy crap. Uh It's got one of those heads. Uh. Oh, Golden Cosmos. I get it, because Cosmos Babylon. Alright. It's a good thing I just watched F91. Uh, bad guys. Oh, these are bad, bad guys. I won. He didn't drop anything, so whatever. Screw him. I think I destroyed something. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on half this time. Blow up better! Why do the sidekicks all these bad guys just have stupid GMs? Yay, it's the stupid Lance! The beam javelin! Oh, it's so stupid! Oh, I need to get to the box. No, the stupid javelin! Breaking these boxes all day long. Oh look, the box came back. Hooray, good for it. Oh wow, he's super weak. 
The other guy was way stronger than he was. These are not Hayaki Shikis. Oh, they're Akatsuki's. Okay. The one that looks like a Hayaki Shiki, but it's from Gundam Seed, so. Drop off more parts. Alright, that green area is where I need to go to. Where is it? Is it above me? There it is. That's oh, my teammates got it. That's good. Uh, we gotta destroy that mobile armor if we want. The stage to ever end. Alright, I'm gonna need y'all's power and support. Give me the courage to stomach my way through this. I climb up to the top of this mountain. To fight the monster that stands before me. You stupid little baby big zom. I missed. You can spin. I can spin too. When it starts spinning, I just have to do a counter spin back, and then I'll be able to defeat it. Oh, I blew up. My counter spin didn't work. Boo, the enemy stole my kill. Garbage. Alright, where's the boss? Where's, where's shiny, shiny stupid head McStupid? No, that's not him. I'm looking for the dumber looking guy. Are you the stupid looking guy? Someone in that mess of people was the guy I needed to kill. I am still very happy with how my guy turned out. Mm, I guess some new little parts. Oh, he spent thousands of yen more. That's like half a million Canadian dollars. But he doesn't know that money doesn't buy the gunpla. Oh, wait. No, you do need money, actually. But if you keep just throwing money and you don't touch it, and you leave it to other people, then how are you a real fighter? Or builder? Something was like he was not glowing. He was lacking in any glow. I demand my money back. 
The $15 I spend on this game waiting for Amazon to drop it because of poor sales, I demand all of it back. A thousand yen is like $10. Yeah, like I said, half a million Canadian dollars. Sakurai -kun. Oh, he learned his lesson. Because we beat him at his own game, he realized that he wasn't playing with his toys correctly. Oh, she's so excited. Or something like that. Oh man, okay. Dry up. <laughs> Normally I'd be more than happy to go on for 30 more minutes at least. But I'd rather not as far as the story goes because that can wait for another day because it's going nowhere. Instead let's just look at Gundams and look, enjoy how much they all are. So yeah, this is the Hyakushiki J. It was for Gundam Breaker 3 and it's really cool. The normal Hyakushiki is gold, but this one is kind of like a pale silver, and the backpack is custom made, and it looks really nice. This is the Break DS. It's like a rig DS, but it's made for the Breaker games. It's also very purple. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. Here's the perfect Gundam from Kyoshiro. Remember Sei's dad from uh, Build Fighters. It's got that weird looking feet. I don't know why. And it's got like a half shield. A weird backpack. But apparently he won second place with a tournament with this. Why is Hoshina there? <sighs> okay. I lied. I'm going to do one more mission. After I look at some gunpla. And then you're going to be like, oh my god, this is the dumbest game ever. So there's a reason why Hoshina's there. So we'll just... Purple bitch is huge. Right. This is one of my favorite Gundams from uh, Iron Blooded Orphans, Gundam Bale. Like, it just looks so cool in like a knightly kind of way. And it was one of the models I was building. But the weird thing about the model is that the head's kind of like so ba far back from the chest, it looks a little off. But no, this is definitely like one of my favorite newer suits. Like, it is, it is super cool. This is the Gyujin Rebook. This is also from Iron Blooded Orphans. It is super cool and very melee based. And this is it with his like aiming helmet on. I don't know. Yeah, Barbados Lupus. Uh, Barbados is such a cool Gundam. Like, super, super cool. And th 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 this isn't even like the coolest form. Although this armored form that it's got here isn't bad. This is apparently like pre-series back when it was like fighting in the war. It's pretty nice. Everyone should turn their heads. And awe uh, in the magnificence that is the age 2 Magnum. The best suit in the Build Diver series. Piloted by the best guy in the Build Diver series. I love it so. <laughs> Scramble Gundam! This is the one that was in the Island Wars Tri Fighters OAV. Where. It was all like harem stuff and then everyone fused their Gundams into the giant Omega Gundam attack. It's uh... But yeah, this was the one where the little girl took it, took it over with her psychic powers. Or her crystal. I forget the actual story. Try on three! It's so goofy looking. But it's also very charming. Build a burning Gundam. It's fine. The Power GM Cardigan was so dumb. I don't know why Fumina ever made something crappy like this. Just no. It's just not cool. Bear Guy. Just nothing. Nothing else needs to be said. Bear Guy is great. Build Strike! And if you notice, the Build Strike backpack is actually on my current Gunpla because it is awesome. Just a little heads up there. So this was the bear guy before the cute bear guy. Yeah, this looks derpy. 
This looks like some Five Nights at Freddy's Gundam stuff. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let's see, the beginning 30 Gundam. Uh, I think this is from like a cute little like uh, TV or like little movie about how to build Gunpla. And if you remember, Reggie built a variation of this uh, as his first Gunpla during the Termin arc. Next, next with Ayla. What did Ayla build? She built like a... Was it a Sazabi? Yeah, that, yeah, the bear guy is horrifying. That bear guy gives me nightmares, Mia. So this is cute. It's called the Mac Knife. It's from Recognusta in G. Um, I've never seen the series. I heard it was terrible. But I still want to watch it because it was made by the original creator of Gundam. Like, But he made it like three years ago. So... Old creator guy making stuff in old style, but in modern day. I don't really know what to say about it. But this is the Gundam, the G-Self. That's the one from the Recognista uh, series. So, I like to see it in action. It's got a silly looking face. And apparently this is the bad guy from that series. I don't know. It's just cute. I don't know what it is. It looks cute. It looks like a custom robo. I think that's what it is. Yeah, this is the Gundam Legolas. This is from Gundam Age. This is a Martian Gundam. And I can't really like go into details more about it, but yeah. Like th this is this is a bad Gundam. This is when the bad guy is able to build his own Gundam. It's pretty cool. And this is the Goffrin. I think that was in Bill Divers as well. Like the Ogre Kid made something like it. But it's uh, like the basic thing from Age. The basic bad guy. Uh, this is the Age 2 Dark Hound. It's super sick. And one of the people in Age eventually becomes like a pirate. And this is what his suit turns into. So. This is the Age 1 Titus. Um, it's basically like a upgraded battle form. It's okay. Double O Quanta! I have a lot to say about Double O. Um, not enough for now. But let's just say that I like Double O a lot. Let's see, Gundam Red Frame. Gundam Gold Frame. It's two different gold frames. They're both okay. This is the Akatsuki. It's very shiny and its skin reflects energy beams. I say skin, but like it's a. Um, what is it? I guess like it's armor coating just automatically reflects all beam damage. It's super busted. Force impulse. It can get upgrades. Um, there's really a lot to go further in, but we'll just go ahead and say Wing Gundam. Basic, but wonderful. Noble Gundam. Sailor Moon Gundam. She's cute. Gundam Rose is in this game, which is crazy because Gundam Rose is never in any game. It's wild. Let's see. This is the F91. It's from the movie I just watched. It's a good movie. It takes place in Universal Century, but it's standalone, so you can still watch it on your own. No worries. Um, let's see. Anything from Unicorn? Nothing amazing. I guess we do have the Shinanju, which is all right. Um, yeah, people will finish up Unicorn because Gundam Narrative starts next Friday, so everyone needs to finish up their Unicorn movies. Um, and that's... So this one here is the Super Gundam. I'm sorry, the EX Super Gundam. Uh, this is from something called Gundam Sentinel. I don't know what it, that is. I don't know what it's from, but it feels like Overkill. At the same time, I really want to see what it's from because it looks insane. And that's like just like the uh, Super Gundam. It's like basic models. No, it, it looks crazy. It looks crazy. It looks wild. Surface. Thank you. Surface was the word I was looking for. Okay. But so that's not even like half of the Gundams you can unlock in this game. But real fast, I will show you why there is a Fumina. So there was some free DLC that came out with this game. Oh, I can eventually get some other teammates. That's neat.
Okay, back to the classroom. First, as always, let's break these boxes. Because, of course, why have the skills you equipped at the start? Totally not a broken record on that. I think everyone's following me. Ah, they are. That's cute. Oh, look at her go. She's like dropkick those. Blow them up, blow them up. I like how that locked on to the enemy that was behind the cushion. Uh oh, bear guy attack! The bear guys are invading! So many bear guys! Oh, this lock on is terrible. Let's destroy all bear guys. Uh oh, here it comes. Yo, there it is, the Super Fumina. Yeah. That's it. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? Let's destroy it for the good of humanity. Her winning beam. And we blew her up. We won. We did the thing. And yeah, that's that's the mission. But so what you get out of that, a little Fumina ticket, you can actually trade it in for any like one piece out of the shop without having to spend the like gill. Which that's cool I guess, but you can only and you can only do this mission once a day, so it's not like you can spam it. To get like every part right away. But the problem is, is that it's still one part. And still you have to redo the mission. To get the part. So. I'm, I'm very. Torn up about this game. Because the part here. Where you can go hey. I want to build my gunpla. Like this. Let's add different parts to it. Like, you know, like that part's all really cool. I want to change the arms. Like the customization is a lot of fun. And you can see that, you know, I had a lot of fun with the painting. You know, I wanted to have it like look really good just for, you know, like aesthetics sake. And like, look, I can even go here and I can go to the gallery and I can like, you know, do that. Oh, and I can like pose it. And that's super cool. I can even take off the shield and the weapons and just like, ah, change the background. I can be super fancy.
That one's cool. What have you missed? Uh, you missed the Super Fumina. It's probably better that you missed it. But yeah, no, I was just talking about how, like, the, the customization is really fun. But it just doesn't have as much life as the previous one, so it's a little disappointing. Yeah. Ooh, flying backwards. T pose. There you go. That, that doesn't work with that gun. There you go. Much better. There you go. Much, much better. Now that's a pose. I wish I had a better, like, weapon, because that, like, laser axe isn't really that cool looking. <sighs> but yeah, no, that's some Gundam Breaker. That's, that's a thing. <sighs> For the first game we got here in the States, it sold super bad, and it just wasn't that great. And it's a shame, because I don't want that to stop us from getting Gundam games in the future. I may come back to the story. I may not. Because the story is worse than I thought. Actually, I want to kind of see how stupid it gets. I mean, how many tropes can we hit? All right, we hit the bully that's just kind of like in love with the girl so much that he wants to try and, you know, like force himself on her. Totally not creepy at all. We've come across the rich guy that tries to buy his, himself to victory. All right, we have the student council that's clearly evil. But I'm sure they have their own reasons. Like every bad guy has a sad past, right? I don't know. We'll see. We have to get to the bottom of this. How tropey can this get? I need to know. Until I, I dive to the bottom of the depths of shit, I must continue struggling downward forevermore. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. I hope this wasn't too boring or stupid. And I will bug y'all later on the Twitter and Discords. And if anyone wants to continue watching streams, you can follow me at ZarekZX for more random updates about, hey, should I stream something? Will I today? Maybe? No? I don't know. We'll see. And if it's a stream that I like and I don't accidentally forget to turn the mic on in, then I may put it up on YouTube. Mm. Yeah, that mic check thing is definitely the biggest problem lately. <laughs> anyway, bye!